few. I'm so glad that we drove away from land as quick as we could. That movie was so crazy. Me too, but I'm just so glad that I got to spend time with you just to get to know you a lot better. Speaking of going to the movie theaters to watch a movie, haven't you seen the funny part with the hypnotist? Holy crap it was so hilarious. I don't know if that part with that character was funny, plus of the fact that you don't know who the hypnotist is. Actually, I thought that scene was the most funniest thing that I ever seen in my whole entire life. Sab, please don't tell me that you know exactly who the hypnotist is. Of course I knew exactly who it is. I just didn't want to tell you about it because of the fact that I know who you are when it comes to telling Serena about that kind of crap behind my back. It is just so embarrassing. Hey, you know what I just thought of? I just thought that we shouldn't have to tell her that you know it all and we should be good. Good grief. Heidi, I told you not to put on one of my old human outfits when I wasn't looking. That's just plain rude. Hey Sabrina, my name is Mariah. It's very nice to meet you. Mariah, what are you doing here? I just wanted to come over from land to see you, and apparently I heard from Maiku that Oceana was like a freedom place away from land. So that is why I came here to live with you guys. Girl, you obviously wasn't born a mermaid or anything. How could you want to possibly be one of us? Because I hate the fact that humanity has gone crazy, and I don't like the fact that the awakening is taking this long to work. Please don't judge me for having an opinion. Well, first of all, talk to the hand if you want to flip out on me. Second of all, if you really wanted to leave you could have just said so. Okay, so what is it that you want me to do? I don't have any other clothes around here. And the rest of my clothes are in my house on land. What is it that you expect for me to do? Alright. Here's the thing that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get some different clothes and get out of this dress. And make sure to hide in my bedroom. Because I don't want Serena to know that you've come here from land so late. Do you understand? If that will get you to stop being so negative about this situation, I'll do exactly that. Ugh, why? Why am I in here? You are in your own news station with the rest of your co-workers. What do you mean what are you doing here? I just don't like the fact that half of my audience is pressuring me to expose everything at once. I would really appreciate it if I could actually take my time with stuff like that. Okay, then what the heck do you expect me to do about it? Can you please video chat them and tell them that these things take time? I don't think that I can do that. Why? Because I have my own phantom asking me to do a QA video on my PawTube account. Wait a second, since... Since when did you have fans? Well, um. I. I'm not the only one with humans loving me every day. Just tell them that you have so much more to do other than exposing their world and saving it. I'm not sure if they're going to like it if I tell them that. Why not? Because half of my fans are merely fans. Him. <laughs> I wonder when our teacher is gonna ring the bell for his dad's return. Bunny, I hate to tell you this, but nobody knows when his dad is gonna return to land or not. Crap. What if they start to ring the bell this early? And even if it is 2021, they'll still be able to ring that crap? Oh my gosh sis, could you please stop worrying about that? He'll let us know when it will be coming to land, and then we will know exactly where to graduate when the time is right. Okay? Yeah, I know that Matthew. It's just that you don't understand how scared I am for the humans right now. What if they don't make it out alive? I'm just gonna have to be honest here sis, if they don't actually make it to see the day. It is probably because of how blind they've always been ever since the year of 2000. Look dude. I don't give a crap about what you say about them. I'm not going to give up on those who I love and care about. Ha ha ha. That isn't exactly what I've been arguing to you about. Then why the frick would you say any of that crap anyway? Do you know how mad it just made me? Yes, yes I do. Wait. Hold up. When the heck are they actually gonna ring the bell? I'm already so gosh darn freaking scared right now. Speaking of not being afraid of supervillains, when are they going to do that exactly? I thought that you've told me that we won't know when or how it'll go down. I know right? 
I thought that I said that too. Hi. I guess that I don't know exactly what I said. Alright, if that is what the school bell sounds like from the outside. Then I'm so glad that I finally got out of that crazy goth metal phase. They were literally ringing the bell for us to graduate. Let's go. Later the next morning. Ouch. I think that my arm hurts. Crap. I think that they must have made me stick that estrogen shot in your arm. I'm... I'm just not sure why would they make me do any of that. Then why would you listen to my father then? He was the only one from your part of town to ask me to change yourself. I had to say no. But then they pressured me to do it to you. Good grief. To think that y'all would have the guts to say no to people like that. And yet, in this situation that I'm going through, this doesn't apply to nothing. We do say no to those kinds of people merely. It's not rocket science, dude. Then why the heck didn't you tell him that I'm not gonna change myself like that anymore but my hair? Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Alright, there's no need for you to smack me in the face. I'm pretty sure that if you'd wanted to change your hair back to the way that you were actually born, then go out there and get a haircut. Okay okay, I guess that I may have took things way too far. I think that I could calm down now. Ah, uh, this headache is killing me. Dang it Jess. Why didn't you guys go to sleep before I even left the house? I don't know, why did you leave the TV on while I was up all night filming the next episode for this movie? No wonder Serena has been complaining about the noise that she's been hearing coming from your room last night. I could barely meditate. Ah, uh, can you please stop complaining about the lack of you channeling your inner hypnotist and just help me with my current situation? Hmm, let's see. We will be home in about four minutes from now. The house is just a few blocks away. Speaking of trying to solve my issues, can you please hypnotize me? No. Uh, Why? I want to go to sleep. That crazy 11 year old said for me to never use my powers on anyone when we are going out, especially if we are going on adventures. There could be crazier people on land who could find put my secret and kidnap me. Oh, I understand. I guess that I can forget about getting some good night's rest now. Alright then, I guess I could do that for you when we get home. Yay. Thanks Matt. You're the best friend an angel could ever have. Gosh darn puppy eyes. How the heck is that even a thing? Sometimes I don't like to work on my school stuff while I'm at home. I just wish that I could have a break. I mean, who cares about what my friends say? I'm not the only one who is too lazy to animate their projects that they need to get done. Wait a second, I thought that I turned my phone off. What is going on? Oh crap. It's probably just that funny video that Bunny sent me of her brother, it's so darn funny. But seriously, what in the world is really on the internet right now? What in the heck is with this gosh darn phone? <laughs>